Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, we'll be learning about selectors. To perform any action on elements, we need to select them first. jQuery provides four ways to select any elements. First one is element selector. To select HTML elements based on the tags, we can use element selector. Like here, we have used dollar followed by p. So this selects all the paragraph tags specified in the web page, and we can manipulate them or give any action we like using this element selector dollar followed by p next one in the list is class selector we can use class selector to select elements based on the classes assigned to them like here we can use dollar followed by dot followed by class name next one is id selector if you want to select entities using ids assigned to them we can easily use id selector to use id selector we have to use dollar followed by hash followed by id name attribute selector if you want to select elements on the basis of attributes assigned to them then we can use attribute selector to use attribute selector we need to specify dollar followed by attribute name in brackets in attribute name anything like value name can come let's see how all these selectors can be implemented in practical in this html document we have an h1 tag which says selectors also, we have three empty paragraph tags, first one having class as weather, second one having id as temp and third one having an attribute name as tiger. So in our script tag, we are using these selectors to modify our HTML web page. First one is class selector. So we are using dollar followed by dot weather to access this paragraph and inside this paragraph, we are passing rainy using dot text method. So this should display rainy when executed In second one we are using dollar followed by hashtag temp this will select this paragraph we are using an id selector to pass dot text as 25 we are using dot text method to pass 25 to this paragraph in our third case we are using an attribute selector attribute as name and value as tiger inside brackets followed by dot text method followed by our text which we need to put inside this paragraph so we should get rainy followed by 25 followed by my name is tiger in our web page and at the end we have used dollar followed by p and we have used dot css method to give color as red so we should get all these things in red color let's see the output so here is our output which says rainy 25 followed by my name is tiger and at the end the paragraph selector we used gave these colors red color so this is how selectors work thank you